Dear Tim and Moby, What are crystals made of? From Ava. Most people think of jewelry when they hear the word crystal. But there are lots of other types of crystals too, found all over the place. Even in your kitchen. Salt, sugar, and baking soda are all crystals. Technically, a crystal is any solid whose molecules are arranged in an ordered, repeating pattern. More commonly, people talk about crystals when they mean to say a mineral with some geometric shape to it. In fact, most solids are made up of lots of tiny crystals. If you look closely at a rock, you may be able to see them. Crystals can be made from different elements. Diamonds are made from carbon, and salt is made from sodium and chlorine. A crystal's color is determined by the elements it contains. Quartz can be transparent, milky white, pink, yellow, or even purple when they have a lot of iron in them. The shape of the crystal depends on the way the elements group themselves together. Crystals grow in neat geometric shapes as new atoms join a structure called a crystal lattice. The individual atoms combine in regular geometric shapes. Those shapes then repeat themselves, building a larger crystal with that shape. It isn't so obvious in tiny salt crystals, but you can see these shapes in big crystals that grow freely in rock cavities and caves. The atoms are arranged so perfectly that crystals break along clean lines called cleavage. There are seven main types of crystals. Isometric, trigonal, hexagonal, tetragonal, orthorhombic, monoclinic, and triclinic. But you can't always tell which kind it is just by looking. Scientists use x-rays to create detailed images of a crystal's structure. There are also liquid crystals that are like gels with both liquid and solid qualities. They're used in the displays of certain devices, like calculators. By running an electrical current through layers of these crystals, you can cause them to form letters, numbers, and images. Y yes, hello.